let's look at the thing this way. What, what does the Darwinian theory say? What is the Darwin, Darwinian anecdote? There are arbitrary changes, meaning the changes are perfectly random. You have no idea when they will occur, and they're not linked to changes that have occurred. And after the changes have occurred, there's a deterministic process which culls out those changes that are valuable and saves those changes uh, which are not, uh, and extrudes those changes which are not. So the process is both one of sheer dumb luck, finding the right changes, and something that is not quite a matter of luck, that is quite deterministic, that is saving the valuable changes. Nonetheless, Darwinian theory suggests that each such episode, luck, change, luck, change, is independent. It has nothing to do with the one that went before. So that in the abstract, it could be modeled by what mathematicians call a random variable. At, a, at first cut, first approximation. When I talk about sheer dumb luck, I mean the amazing fact that these extraordinary, ineffably beautiful structures arise from what is at its heart a stochastic, that is to say, a random process. Now, no one is arguing, say, that if a tiger, a toothless tiger, develops a set of splendid dentures capable of biting its prey, it will improve its chances of survival. That seems obvious. It seems, in fact, so obvious that it's hard to imagine that a scientific theory is needed to explain it. The pigeonhole principle explains it. The pigeonhole principle tells you if you have ten letters and only nine mailboxes, one letter has to go. That seems to be at work in Darwinian theory as an underlying assumption as well. Hardly need a, a hundred years of biology to tell us that. But the essential point is that the structure of the theory is uh, arguably stochastic. Each event, each episode, each bright bursting episode of change is independent of the one that went before and independent of the one that's going to come after. That's what I meant by sheer dumb luck. A hard time imagining that I myself am the product of sheer dumb luck. I like to see, uh, think of all of evolution groaning its way toward the accomplishment of the noble and lovely thing that is me. But of course, as a critic of Darwinian theory, I, I don't hold with that. Um, of course, I find it difficult to imagine that any contemporary state of affairs is the result of essentially a random process. Um, not difficult for theological, not difficult for religious, not difficult for any reasons of the sacred, but difficult because we have an enormous amount of experience with the underlying kind of processes in mathematics and statistics, and we never see anything like that.